When we appeared on the Food Network channel, we shared our family recipes with millions of people, and now we're happy to share them with you. So welcome to Mary Jo's Tamales. Pull up a seat and let's get started. For our macaroni and cheese, and the ingredients that I'm going to be using is, I'm using about a cup and a half or so of uh, whipping cream, you could also use carnation milk, you can use pet milk, you can use whole milk. Um, I'm using whipping cream today and I may add some whole milk in there depending on the consistency that I have once I blend everything together. I'll decide at that point. I also have Velveeta cheese. This is a 32 ounce uh, container. I'm going to cut that in little cubes and melt it. I'll show you when I start doing that. I'm going to put butter in there. I have a stick of butter here, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use that entire stick of butter. And then I have a 16 ounce or one pound bag of mild cheddar cheese that I'm going to blend some into the macaroni and cheese, and then I'm going to finish it off with this um, on top of it. So let's get started and making this delicious macaroni and cheese. Place your macaroni in a pot of boiling salt water and just cook until tender. Okay, we're gonna cut the, um, our Velveeta in little small pieces and cubes and uh, a good tip for you is to, um, you know, Velveeta is really soft and it always sticks to the knife. So just wet it a little bit, just dampen it a little bit. And then that way you can cut right through it. Okay, along with my seasoning, my salt and pepper, I will be using some parsley just to sprinkle it on top to give it a little color and make it look pretty. So we are starting to put our, che our cheese in and we're gonna melt it. Um, just take your time, make a nice little cheese sauce. It's going to melt, it will melt. I'm going to put a lot of cheese in here because I like my macaroni and cheese to be cheesy. And I did add about another cup of regular whole milk. So that was a cup and a half of a whipping cream and a cup of whole milk. So, you know, our macaroni and a little messy, 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 messy. Blend it in. And now I'm going to, um, just for to make it look good, let's add a little parsley on top here. Just just sprinkle it about like that. Just, just a little bit. See how pretty that looks? And just add a little parsley. I already added my salt and pepper to taste. Okay. And we're gonna finish up with our cheese that we're gonna sprinkle all on top of here. Remember we put half of it in the mixture. You know, it all depends on your portion. You know, you have to kind of cook by, you know, what it feels like. So let's put this. Let's get this cheese all around here. All on top. I love macaroni and cheese. And it does say macaroni and cheese, so I have a lot of cheese up here. I love cheese. Look at that cooking in the oven. I just had to show you guys, look at how it's bubbling. That is going to be some good macaroni and cheese. Okay, so I got to close my oven back. Look at this beautiful macaroni and cheese. Didn't I tell you we were gonna make macaroni and cheese? Didn't I tell you we were gonna make macaroni and cheese? 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. See you in the next video.